Hi everyone, this is Lando Assistant for our daily math video. This time, let's do some algebra trick. Here is the problem. Simplify this radical expression, the square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 5. Clearly, this radical expression is not in its simplified form because there is a radical under another radical. In order to simplify this, we are going to look at this problem as another case of expression that is quadratic in form. But you might say, I cannot see any quadratic form in this given expression. This is what we are going to do. Let's begin with the given expression. Notice here that this number 6 and this number 5 are one unit apart. What we can do is we can split this 6 as 5 plus 1 so that we can now have a trinomial and we can transform this result into something that is quadratic in form. We can do that by first splitting 5 and 1 with 5 as the first term, minus 2 squared of 5 as the second term, and positive 1 as the last term. Then let's rewrite this 5 as the square of the square root of 5. If you simplify this, the result is just this 5. But what this enables us to do is we now have a quadratic form. If you let a dummy variable a be equal to this square root of 5, then this result here can now be written as this. Because square root of 5 is our a, we copy the exponent 2, we copy the minus 2, but instead of square root of 5, we use the variable a because a is equal to square root of 5, and then we copy plus 1. Notice now that a squared minus 2a plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial. Now, since our radicand is a perfect square trinomial, we can now factor this out as the square of the binomial a minus 1. We simply get the square root of the first term, so the square root of a squared is a, the square root of 1 is 1, and we copy the minus sign. All of this raised to the second. And from here, since extracting the square root and raising to exponent 2 are inverse operations that cancel each other out, then the result now is simply the radicand a minus 1. But what is the value of a? We know that this a is equal to square root of 5. And therefore, we can now substitute back square root of 5 for variable a. And so instead of a, we now have square root of 5 and we just copy the minus 1. Therefore, this original expression, the square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 5, is simplified as square root of 5 minus 1. So this is again another algebra trick that we can use in order to simplify radical expression by converting the given radicand into a form that is quadratic in form, and we apply our knowledge of special product and factoring in order to simplify the radical expression. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next episode of this series, Algebra Tricks. Bye for now.